so today we're gonna go outside and uh, test. Let's check, change that a little bit. Let's hold on. There we go. We are going to test the uh, Cam Park, Cam Park uh, V40, I believe it is. We're, we're taking it out on the motorcycle. So not not a long. Well, I, I say not a long video, but because um, it's still a little chilly outside, which is fine. But the sun's really nice. I went out for a nice ride yesterday, and uh, I actually tried to do this video already and realized that I hit the record button. It started recording, but by the time I hopped on the bike, um, the memory card was full because I forgot to format the card, and it just stopped. So I literally got myself sitting on the bike, and that was it. So that, that wasn't that exciting. So I'm going to get ready. We're going to put the V40 on my helmet. We're just going to kind of... Do a five or ten minute ride around the city. We'll be able to see what we think of the image quality when you're riding on a motorcycle. Uh, what the stabilization is like because we're going to have this, the electronic stabilizer turned on. And we have it plugged into the external mic. So that's running inside my helmet. It's just actually behind behind the, the chin, chin guard, I guess. And uh, I had a banana. Yeah. So stay, stay with me. Already got it, got it up and running. Uh, I always shoot these ones like upside down and then flip them after because um, I just don't like having the camera up here because it it's obscures my view, right? So having it down here, I, I can't really, I don't really pay attention to it. As long as it's running, I'm good. So I'm gonna hop on the bike, and uh, you guys can uh, let me know in the comments below what you think think of the footage. All right. My car's, my car's so dirty, so dirty this time of year, it's just rainy half the time, and then the other half the time it's windy and it's stuff coming off the trees, and <sighs> it is what it is, and I don't know if I'm in uh, gear, yeah, here we go. So you are hearing the internal mic right now, and you are getting some... The ability to see what the colors are like. Actually, I, I like the, how the colors, the colors out of this camera, they do pretty good. My my issue, and for you guys to watch for, is just the width, right? I'm not a huge fan of the width of this lens. Now it does get wider when you don't have the stabilizer turned on, but. You need the stabilizer turned on or else you got just jittery footage. So it narrows uh, quite a bit when you are uh, uh, got the electronic image stabilizer turned on, just so you guys know. Um, but, you know, maybe for a lot of you guys, because you're on a budget, I think, I think this camera, I think this camera only comes in at like, I think the last time I looked it was like 130 US or something like that. So, I do like it. Uh, especially if maybe if you got it out a bit further and you were shooting backwards or you had it like, uh, I don't know, mounted on the frame somewhere, then, you know, maybe that width isn't as important. For me, I, I just like a really wide shot. Again, that's all personal preference. For you, you may, you may just love it. Now, anyways, this is, this is my little, my little town. It's, uh, Tuesday morning. Tuesday morning in the metropolis. Here, I don't even know what the population is here. It's got to be small. I, I'd, my guess would be, I don't know, uh, three thousand peop people, maybe, maybe. I don't, I have no idea. Um, but for those that like the motorcycle ride, there's a lot of a lot of nice roads around here that are fairly curvy, especially from, for me coming from uh, Ottawa. Ottawa was. Uh, Ottawa in itself was, is, is a lovely city, and I, and I do miss it, without question. I love the, I think I, I love mostly just that familiarity, you know, of knowing some place that you've, you've lived in for so long. Like, Mary and I, I keep thinking, like, that's, 
that's where we spent our married life together, really, was in Ottawa. So it's got a lot of, lot of memories, our friends. Um, and you know, when you're, when you're older and you move, you move somewhere new, right? Because we moved here for one. Mary wanted to be a little closer to her mom and dad, which is, which was great. We also moved because she got a, a, a good job opportunity to move here. So that was, that was also a really good positive. But you know, one of the, the negatives, one of the downsides, of course, is that. When you're older, it's like, especially for me, not so much for Mary, because she moved and she's working with new people and she's hanging around them for eight hours a day and she gets that, that her, her social needs, right, for hanging out with people, that's, that's done, it's easy, right? Uh, for me, I work at home and I get outside to do this, but I'm always, I'm always, you know, you're always by yourself, so that, that, uh, how do I find people? friends and people and whatever that that just becomes a becomes a little bit of a, a hardship at this at this age for sure and it would probably be with any any age outside of someone that's actually in school uh, when you're well any, I guess when you're working for yourself or if you're working online or you know here's here's my big thing for every everybody that moves somewhere and you're like oh I can just work from home that's gonna be awesome just realize realize the um, hardship it is to meet new people and the importance I think of being able to meet new people and have have uh, some kind of social life because I tell you it is it is really really difficult uh, mentally and what I've experienced is that when you're you're mentally suffering a little bit because of that you know loneliness and uh, depression and whatever it is um, that then turns into you know, you know, phys physically not feeling well because they 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 definitely tie into each other, right? You can you can be physically sick or whatever, and that affects you mentally, and the other way around, right? Mental mental distress or whatever it is just hurts you physically. Uh, look at me getting all, you know, psychological or I don't know what I'm I don't know what I'm getting. Anyways, this is the, the little bumpy road, so um, you can hopefully you can tell by it. I'll stand up a little bit. You guys can just maybe see it over the screen. Um, and it may be a little windier now, but it's a good test standing up on my pegs here, right? Um, but uh, this is this side of the road is not too bad. That side of the road over there, that is bumpy, They're really bumpy. But this road here, we always have to watch because there's a lot of like pheasants and wildlife and stuff. Right in the, the downtown core of where we live, just like, I don't know, like a week or so ago, uh, someone took a picture, and there was like just 12 deers sitting on Main Street, just just hanging out, doing doing their thing. I'm like, that's that's interesting. And uh, we've numerous times you come through at night when it's dark and you drive through here, definitely a lot slower. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we're almost done my little loop here. Almost done my little loop. And uh, hopefully you guys get a good idea of what you think of the width, what we think of the mic quality. Now, the other thing to just kind of be aware of with the external mic on this, um, and I showed this in the uh, one of my main videos when I was reviewing this, I think, was that uh, you, actually, you actually have to go into the settings, so the settings of the camera, and tell the camera that you are using the external mic. It doesn't like auto detect. So it doesn't just like switch based on sensing it. You have to actually, there's a setting. It says, are you using internal mic or external mic? So you have to tell it external. Uh, for me, I probably won't use this camera ever without having an external mic plugged into it. So because of that, I'll just leave it there. But be aware, because if you plug in a mic and you don't switch that, I think it'll just still use the internal and you'll be like, why does it sound so crap? All I hear is wind sound. So, go through your settings, play around with it. There's not a lot of settings in it, but enough to probably make some modifications so that, you know, you can get it to look the way you want and sound the way you want. Now, the other thing this doesn't have, if you are interested, it doesn't have 4K60, so a lot of motor vlogging people like 4K60. It's got 4K30. Uh, you may be able to go to, I can't remember if it had like a 2.760 or it may be 1080-60. I'm not 100% sure. There is a 60 mode, it's just not 4k there you go guys plugged in plugged in you got it you get to see it 
comments, tell me what you think. Uh, I am going to park this now and then head in, take a look at the footage, and that'll, that'll be that. Uh, if you are interested in the camper, there's our neighbor. You can uh, check the link below. If uh, not, that's cool. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. And uh, I'm out. Later.